Very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended the celebrations of the Ministry of Health at the Salmania Medical Complex, which marked the 60th anniversary of founding the hospital. The anniversary coincides with the occasion of the National Day celebrations, marking the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country, founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783, the 47th anniversary of its full membership the United Nations, and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. He expressed pride in and appreciation for the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the government led by His Royal Highness the Premier and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the advanced medical services that are provided to citizens and residents. He also thanked His Royal Highness the Premier for delegating him to attend the celebrations and described the occasion as a representation of His Royal Highness's keen interest in supporting and developing the medical sector and making it available to all, which affirms Bahrain's commitment to sustainable development goals. The Deputy Premier stated that the Bahraini government views its programs in the broader context of human development and offering social services for all. He added that the government aims to improve the quality of its medical services and to reinforce the accountability systems and supervisory systems that oversee the medical sector, which is a step towards realizing Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. He noted that Salmania Medical Complex is among the oldest governmental facilities in the region as it was built in 1958 and was opened in the following year during the reign of the late Emir Zahana's Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Deputy Premier concluded by stating the hospital's anniversary coincides with the medical sector's new phase of organization, a part of which was His Majesty's issuance of Law No. 23 of 2018, which will take effect in the coming year and will be closely supervised by the Supreme Council of Health under the leadership of Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. He noted that this celebration is an opportunity to honor Bahraini families, institutions, and development funds of nearby countries who became partners in the development of health services with their generous donations. He added that the celebration of this occasion is an opportunity to take pride in the national competencies, including doctors, nursing crews and experts in various fields and express thanks for their efforts in maintaining Bahrain's high position in the global health indicators. In his speech, the Minister of Health Faiqa bin Saeed al-Salih expressed thanks and gratitude during the celebration to His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, for patronizing the celebrations and his support of health services in Bahrain. She noted that Salmania Hospital is a central medical institution that provides services to all citizens and training services to students and has capable human caterers as well as the latest diagnostic devices. Al Saleh mentioned the inauguration of the third phase by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in 1997 and the qualitative and comprehensive shift it represented providing health development needs in Bahrain and forming a solid foundation to meet the needs of citizens and residents alongside the Bahrain Defense Force Royal Medical Services Military Hospital. صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله ورعاه على رعايته الكريمة للاحتفال بمرور ستين عاما من إنشاء مستشفى السلمانية مقدرين لسموه الكريم خالص العرفان والتقدير على ما نلقاه من دعم ومساندة واهتمام من رعاية للخدمات الصحية في مملكتنا الغالية معالي نائب راعي الحفل اليوم ونحن نحتفل بذكرى إنشاء مستشفى السلمانية الطبي فإننا نستعيد مرحلة هامة من مراحل بناء الدولة الحديثة في مملكة البحرين وقد وقف للناس رجل دولة صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة الذي تسلح بحب بلاده وحب أبناء بلاده ووضع نصب عينيه أن ينهض بمستوى رقي جميع المواطنين وجميع الخدمات التي تتصل بمملكتنا الغالية تعد مملكة البحرين من الدول الرائدة في مجال الصحة نظراً لما حققته من إنجازات كبيرة طوال نهضتها التنموية بفضل ما تلقاه من رعاية واهتمام من حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة 
ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه وصاحب السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر وصاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقر حفظهم الله ورعاه حيث حظي القطاع الصحي باهتمام بالغ باعتباره أحد ركائز التنمية المستدامة في المجتمعات ومنذ الخمسينيات من القرن الماضي أعطت حكومة البحرين اهتماماً أكبر لتحسين الخدمات الصحية التي تقدم للمواطنين والمقيمين على هذه الأرض الطيبة حيث شكل بناء مستشفى في منطقة السلمانية الذي بدأت مرحلته الأولى بقسم للولادة وأمراض النساء واستقبال مرضى مستشفى النعيم من النساء في عام 1958 نواة للخدمات الصحية الأساسية ومرفقاً تمتد خدماته لجميع المواطنين والمقيمين على حد سواء إلى أن تم افتتاحه كمجمع طبي في عام 1978 ليضم الكثير من الأقسام التخصصية شملت الرعاية الصحية الثانوية وقسم الحوادث والطوارئ الذي يقدم الرعاية الطبية العاجلة لكل المرضى والجرحى إلى جانب قسم الأشعة والعيادات الخارجية ومنذ أوائل التسعينيات وفي سبيل تحقيق مبدأ الصحة للجميع قامت وزارة الصحة بمملكة البحرين بجهود متواصلة لتعزيز المستوى الصحي وضمان توفير خدمات صحية ذات جودة عالية تلبي حاجة الأفراد بمختلف متطلباتهم من هنا بدأت المرحلة الثالثة لتطوير المستشفى حيث بدأ في عام 1991 حتى عام 1997 ببناء البرج الجديد وافتتحه صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله ورعاه حيث تمت التوسعة بزيادة 400 سرير وليتحول اسم المستشفى إلى مجمع السلمانية الطبي والذي أصبح يضم مختلف التخصصات ليتناسب ذلك العدد مع عدد المرضى الذين يستفيدون من خدمات المجمع الطبي وعياداته ذات التخصصات المختلفة وشكل مجمع السلمانية الطبي حجر الزاوية للنظام الصحي نظراً لما يحويه من أقسام تخصصية مختلفة مزودة بأجهزة متطورة وكوادر متخصصة فعلى مدى سنوات أجريت توسيعات عديدة على المبنى الرئيس للمجمع فزاد عدد الأجنحة الطبية وعدد الأسرة إضافة إلى التوسع الملحوظ في قسم الطوارئ والعيادات التخصصية لتواصل الحكومة بذلك تقدمها في مجال تطوير الخدمات الصحية ليصل إلى مستويات متقدمة ومنافسة عكسته المؤشرات الصحية الدولية حققت البحرين قفزات هامة كبيرة نحو الريادة في الخدمات الصحية على الصعيد المحلي والإقليمي والدولي بما يتواكب مع مستجدات العصر ومتغيراته ضمن منظومة الحكومة الموقرة لضمان توفير خدمات صحية ذات جودة عالية منظمة ومتكاملة عادلة ومستدامة Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa presented commemorative gifts to a number of individuals and authorities for supporting and participating in the development of health services, including Temkin and Betelco.
The Salmania Medical Complex celebrates its 60th anniversary, 60 years in which it grew not just in capacity and the number of specialties it has, but its most significant growth is in its reputation. First of all, I would like to uh, thank His uh, Royal Highness the uh, uh, Prime Minister for patronage this uh, event uh, for Salmani uh, after 60 years of uh, establishing this uh, great building. Uh, actually, it's uh, developed since uh, 1956 when uh, they put the, the stone and in 1958 when it uh, started working. Up to now, uh, we, uh, we had uh, around uh, 200, at that time, 200 beds, and now 1,200. The building that we have opened today is the oldest part of a complex, and it was only for maternity, as a maternity hospital. Later, after about 15 years, we built the new complex, the huge new complex with all the specialties at that time. I want to assure you, that it was the first complex of its kind in the whole Gulf area. When we received the Ministry of Health years ago, the percentage of the Bahrainis were 5%. Today, they constitute more than 90%. This by itself speaks for itself. I want by on this occasion to assure everybody and to say it with pure objectivity that I have never asked his Highness Sheikh Isa and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa during their reign. I have never asked them for more money for the complex and they always responded positively without any hesitation. Salmania is a healthcare center that provides medical care to all patients in Bahrain and those coming from abroad. It provides exclusive healthcare training to doctors and nurses graduating top notch healthcare specialists. It is a really actually a tertiary hospital now. And the capacity for the hospital is not only just growing and, and beds number, but even for the services. And we reach for the employees now for about 5,000 employees are working in this hospital. It, it is really actually huge. It's a huge mainly even for to maintain it for that long time of 60 years. Through all these years, we already actually we gained the world mainly, uh, let us say, rec recognition for this hospital. We found some of the training programs which is here in this hospital, like the, the Irish mainly college. And we have even the Arab board and we have the Saudi board and we have many multiple boards actually all around the world is here in this, in this hospital. We get accredited from Canadian accreditation and we have the gold mainly accreditation for this hospital. So in the training wise and, and the health education, it is one of the first actually in the area, in the region. This is Sarah Break reporting for Bahrain International. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to invest in youth, part of the goals of the strategic plans and upon the directives of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President on the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, during the 2018 Youth Summit, which is one of the initiatives of the National Programme for Youth Sector Development and Sports, Istijaba, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the Minister of Industry, Industry, Trade and Tourism and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs met to discuss the practice of those between the ages of 18 and 21 of business in various fields, which is Hannes Sheikh Nasser called for studying and finding solutions for. The Minister stressed the importance of His Highness's directives to encourage youth to enter the business sector. They agreed on a mechanism that enables the youth and entrepreneurs between the ages of 18 and 21 years to enter the commercial sector and expressed appreciation to His Highness's directives and affirmed their importance to develop trade in the kingdom. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a meeting today at the Ministry's headquarters with all the directors and heads of the financial resources departments of the government. The Minister stressed the importance of improving the efficiency of government expenditure, developing financial procedures and enhancing governance in order to achieve financial balance, enhance public financial sustainability and achieve all government programs that serve citizens. The Minister noted that reducing the deficit in the state 
state budget is a shared responsibility of all managers and heads of financial resources departments and all government agencies through the application of best practices in the field of financial management and the development of supervision and governance mechanisms on public funds. The Minister of Finance and National Economy added that the meeting will be held periodically and will work on developing all financial procedures followed by government agencies. He also noted that the ministry is continuing to develop plans and programs aimed at controlling and increasing the efficiency of expenditure. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units during the government's form held recently, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Housing, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, affirmed that the ministry is distributing over 1,200 housing units, which is witnessing advanced achievement rates in a Ramli social housing project. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa added that the distribution of the housing projects will continue until the middle of next month in batches to accommodate the number of beneficiaries, noting that the ministry is keen on simplifying the procedures of housing unit distribution. The Assistant Under Secretary for Development and Policy of Public Revenues at the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Rana Ibrahim Faqihi, today affirmed that over a thousand local and international enterprises have begun registering for the first phase of the value added tax, the VAT implementation, effective on January the 1st of 2019 at a standard rate of 5%. The Assistant Under Secretary highlighted the VAT registration process, noting that 668 enterprises have already received their VAT registration certificates and more than 500 companies have initiated the process of registration. She noted that the ministry's call center is fully prepared to provide swift general and technical assistance to taxpayers. As of today, the call center has successfully responded to more than 1,500 tax-related inquiries, of which 90% were immediately settled by VAT experts, as well as promptly responding to more than 500 email inquiries. She also noted that the National Bureau for Taxation, the NBT, will continue to advance its multiple communication platforms well after the VAT's induction to ensure information is suitably accurate and to continue to provide a platform where citizens can report misconduct, such as charging VAT prior to induction and applying VAT on goods and services that are not subject to VAT. Faqihi concluded by urging citizens to contact the ministry's call center email for general and technical inquiries in addition to taking advantage of the information available on the NBT's website and the information available on Instagram and Twitter platforms VAT at mof.gov.ph. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the value-added tax law application mechanism to ensure the citizens' needs for basic goods and services and as part of its monitoring role and to boost the consumers' and commercial sector awareness, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Inspection Directorate, in coordination with the Consumer Protection Directorate, intensified the inspection and monitoring of commercial outlets and disseminating awareness among traders and shoppers owners regarding the importance of compliance with the law. The ministry intensified its monitoring and follow-up of commercial shops and markets all over Bahrain to ensure compliance with the laws and legislations that regulate the sale and purchase transactions in respect of VAT application. They also ensured compliance with all the rules and laws approved in this respect in addition to ensuring that VAT is not charged or levied on exempted consumer goods and services. The ministry reiterated its call to the commercial sector for compliance with the VAT rules and the law by registering in the National Bureau for Taxation's website, the ministry called all citizens and consumers to cooperate with the ministry and with all the relevant governmental authorities by reporting any violations or breaches of the law by calling the National Call Center hotline www.nbt.gov.ph. We have two main issues that we'd like to focus on uh, to make sure that uh, people don't manipulate the introduction of VAT to have price fixing mechanisms or apply VAT where it's not applied to products that are exempted. So through our consumer uh, protection department and our inspection team, we've done a few surveys in the market, we've done a few inspection checks and we will continue to do so to monitor the prices and the, the, the adjustment of prices post introduction of VAT. Uh, VAT is something that's been agreed 
on the GCC level. It's been implemented in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Uh, we are following suit uh, to that agreement. Bahrain has taken uh, the maximum allowed exemption list of 94 essential uh, goods and services, including medicine, including uh, education, basic food items. Uh, so that's done taking into account the minimum impact on the economic growth. And that's the other part that we are playing a role in the ministry, is to be close to the uh, private sector through the Chamber of Commerce, working with them, working with the Ministry of Finance in uh, conjunction to His Majesty's instruction issued recently to make sure that it is a smooth transition, that it has the minimum impact on the economic growth that Bahrain has been enjoying for the last few years. The annual press conference on the achievements of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism in 2018 was held today in the Ministry's headquarters, showcasing the growing sectors and challenges. More on this report by Heba Abdel Ghaffar. An annual review of what has been achieved by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism in 2018 has been conducted today with a wonderful detailed display of numbers and statistics with a wonderful detailed display of numbers and statistics showcasing the growth of different activities in the trade industry and tourism sectors despite the challenges adopted initiatives along with their measured impact and the future plans for each sector with a special focus on SMEs. 2018 saw the birth of the National SME Strategy, uh, which was uh, approved by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince at the EDB Board in February of this year. Uh, the, the plan is a five-year plan. It's quite clear of what we want to do with the SME sector, how we plan to grow it. It has five pillars with 17 initiatives. Some have seen light already, some are a work in progress, and some will start within the next uh, year or two leading up to the five-year horizon. Three key performance indicators are set to be achieved by 2022, increasing SME contribution to growth from 30% to 40%, increasing number of Bahrainis employed in SMEs from 36,000 to 43,000, and increasing SME contribution to exports from 8% to 20%. Moreover, one of the highlights of this year is the launch of the Export Center. One of the major initiatives we launched recently in November was the Export Bahrain Bureau, uh, I think this is a great initiative that will support SMEs to, to think global, to export their goods and services, and I stress the word services because we're not just interested in exporting physical products, but also talent, ideas, consultancy, expertise to the rest of the world. To ensure the best quality of products and services delivered in Bahrain, the inspection center has been widely developed, centralized in the ministry, with adequate de dedicated human capital, covering Bahrain's whole geographical area and adopting the latest techniques. We uh, gather all the inspectors from all the directorates in one center in order to conduct the uh, inspections. And uh, we also uh, change the, the way how to inspect by, um, by bring something new, by, uh, uh, by using the technology using tablets uh, for uh, conduct the inspection uh, uh, electronically and instantly. 2018 has been full of achievements and ongoing strategic themes to foster business, investment, innovation and development. At the early meeting of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the 2018 great achievements and initiatives have been discussed, along with the upcoming plan, key performance indicators, and how to maintain its excellent performance. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghafoor.
The Shura Council hailed the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to specialize the executive authorities to review the VAT mechanisms during the trial application period and observe the citizens' needs through the exemption of basic commodities and services. The Shura Council affirmed that the directors reflect the keenness of His Majesty the King on fulfilling citizens' needs, noting that His Majesty will always remain the first protector of citizens' interests and will ensure providing them with decent life. The council stated that citizens have been the main pillar of the development process in the kingdom during the era of His Majesty the King, noting the cooperation of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the support by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Council added that legislative work will follow up on the VAT application to fulfill the vision of His Majesty the King, expressing wishes that the efforts of the government authorities to apply the VAT law will be successful.